Howdy folks, I'm Aaron, welcome to Lowe's Joinery. Today's video we're going to be making some shaker doors, we're on a bit of a shaker door fest. It's coming up. Okay then folks, so uh, as I just said we're going to be making some shaker doors. I'm pretty pushed for time so there's not probably going to be much talking in this but hopefully the video will speak to itself but just before we go any further I changed up my methods a little bit now I used to use the loose tenon method uh, if you I'll put a link in the description I've put a video out ages ago now using the loose tenon method but it just weren't working out for me I didn't I weren't happy with everything so I've switched methods now and whether I've gone forwards or back whichever way you look at it but I now do the traditional or more traditional uh, tongue and groove or tenon and groove whichever one you want to call it um, then nothing fancy just some shaker style doors a couple of six foot ones and a couple of uh, two foot by two foot ones just to form a in, put in a cupboard I might even get the fitting for this one if possible so cut all of the bits to sizes I've got a couple more just to cross cut on the mitre saw to get them down to final dimensions then it's onto the router table and then cut the panels and get them all glued up and assembled so yeah sit back relax enjoy grab some popcorn and i'll catch you at the end probably Okay then guys, so I've just spent a few minutes getting the other router cutter set up um, for doing the tenons or the tongues, whatever you want to call them. And although I've tried it in the sample piece that you've seen earlier, I'll also make the conscious effort to try it in the actual work pieces itself. Although the template is good for setting things up, there's no better test than in the actual workpiece you're doing and always try and use a piece of the workpiece as the sample so you know it's all it's all the same thickness and everything you know the, the tiny variations can make a difference so so yeah I've cut that now I'm going to chuck this on the router cut all of the tongues or the tenons on all of the the rails and then we can get the panels cut and start getting everything assembled together
Okay then, uh, confession time. <coughs> I've cut. <laughs> I've cut these all wrong. So when I say all wrong, I've cut them to the wrong length. They're too big, thankfully. And thankfully I noticed it. If I was just in the zone, I probably would have glued it up and realised when I'm at the job. So count my blessings where they are. Anyway, I'm going to leave you now. I'm going to cut all these back to size. And it's not played in my favour, but I've realised that I'm one short as well. So I need to cut the groove uh, on the top and the bottom of two of them to go on the big doors because the panels will be going on the top and the bottom. And I didn't do that. So one of those things, nobody's perfect, are they? Um, I don't proclaim to be. So just crack on and yeah, what I'll do, I'll get all these cut ready and I'll catch you next on the assembly. I'll probably get the panels cut as well because it's just ripping boards down so I'll catch you on the assembly folks okay then so we roughly know this hasn't got to be this hasn't got to be bang on exact and you want it a little bit looser really just so you can get everything slipped in um, together these are going to be six mil panels glued in so we know that we've cut the groove in here around about 10 mil so what we're going to do is you can get calipers on the go if you want or steel rule whatever so we're going to kind of come in 5 10 i'm going to come in 10 mil on that side and then the same again on this side 10 mil on that side and then what we're going to do is we're going to measure straight across from line to line 210 and then we just repeat that for this section or this dimension here. So we'll measure 10 mil over there, 10 mil down there. Got 715. So we need to make our panel 210 this way, 715 this way. And what that'll do, a bit of room for the glue, we'll get the panel in and it'll be fingers crossed be easy enough to slip all together Okay then, I think I'm going to start with the small ones, make sure everything goes smoothly, and then we can move on to the bigger ones. Okay then guys, so I'm going to knock it on the head now because it's uh, it's quite late, it's about half nine, quarter to ten. Um, and I think the job's just going downhill from cutting them bloody parts wrong. This glue up was an absolute stress, that's why I had to stop it. It was just a stress, the panels weren't going in. I said the, at the start the panels were a little bit bowed and... why this is on there because it's starting to form it but it's too late and yeah it's just one of them so i'm going to come back to this in the morning so i'm going to leave oh it's level i'm going to leave this to cook overnight the little ones are done 
and uh, yeah, leave this to cook overnight because I've got to cut another panel as well. There's a stress. Anyway, I'm gonna love you and leave you guys. I'll uh, catch you tomorrow. Okay then guys, so that was it. Hope you liked the video. I'm gonna keep this pretty sweet and sharpish because the video has been going on far too long now and you've probably got better places to be. So I just wanna say thank you for watching. If you did like the video, please do give it a thumbs up, share it amongst your friends. I'd really appreciate that. Any comments, any questions, just drop them down below and I'll do my best to answer those as best as I can. I might, if time allows, I might get a little couple of little snippets of video for the installation. I made a little jig up the other day um, just using the hinges because I don't normally use concealed hinges for inset doors uh, and these are inset <laughs> obviously. So yeah, I might I might get the, the, the install in this because it was something a bit different for me. So, but anyway, if you did like the video, give it a thumbs up. Please, please hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. I'm so close to 3,000 subs now, which is another big milestone every thousand counts. And uh, yeah, take it easy, folks. Stay safe in the shop, and I will catch you on the next video. Okay then, folks. So uh, that was it, basically. That was it. Oh, Come on, Az. Down below and I'll answer them to the best I can.